I am going to explain to you what the word poker really means, its origins, and a bit about its history, so you can be wise to the words you use every day. Look at all this money, all this wealth. Where did they get it? Poker. For some people like myself, poker is not just a beloved hobby, but a profession. And for some people, an extremely lucrative one. Take Dan Bilzerian, for example. He's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, or so he says. But the truth is, their wealth is built on a lie, as you shall see. The game of poker originated sometime back in the late 18th century. Poker's ultimate origin is debated among scholars and historians. Some scholars think that poker's ancestor came from a Persian card game called Oznaz. In the classic reference for card games, Foster's Complete Hoyle, an encyclopedia of indoor games, first published in 1897. But in the 1937 edition, Foster wrote this about poker. The game of poker first played in the United States, five cards to each player from a 20-card pack, is undoubtedly the Persian game of Oznaz. Oznaz originated in the 16th century Persia, what is today Iran, and was hugely popular there, but is now for forbidden in Iran after the 1979 revolution. Oz means ace and Naz means people or mankind. The game features a deck of five illustrated cards representing ace, king, lady, soldier, and the lowest card often depicting a dancing girl, a couple of dancers, or a musician. It's played very much like poker. But more recent scholars think poker was not based off of Oz Naz, at least directly, but off of a French card game called Poke and was introduced by French gamblers into New Orleans. One of the earliest known written references of poker being played at all was made by the English actor Joe Cowell in a game which was played on a steamboat near New Orleans in 1829. You see, in the 1830s, poker's popularity exploded in the American South. It was played extensively on gambling riverboats up and down the Mississippi River and all around New Orleans and to the West during the Gold Rush. Picture the scene, a crowded riverboat, the shuffle of cards, the murmurs of strategic conversations, and the unmistakable sound of a player passing on a bet by knocking on the table. Why was he knocking? Because poker literally means to knock. For Southerners, with their characteristic drawl, the French word poke would sound like polka, and polka became poker. But this French game, as well as its name, poke, many believe actually came from a French card game called pospiel, from the word pochen, to brag, as a bluff, a lie, and bluffing is a big part of poker. And now you know why poker is all a bluff, a lie. It's in its very name. Actually, at the beginning I lied. I don't even play poker. Solitaire is more my game, but I can't find anyone to play with. Now go get wise to more words while watching one of my other videos.